Good evening, you lovely bunch, and welcome to London Paddington. This is Train Sim World, and um, yeah, I've apparently been called in to uh, drive a train. Now, I know this isn't everyone's cup of tea, but uh, door open. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, I know this isn't everyone's cup of tea, but um, yeah, this is Train Sim World, uh, essentially Train Simulator or console. I'm playing on the Xbox One, and um, I've been playing now for nearly, a, I think, nearly two hours or so, and it's been really good fun. This is the first um, scenario. This is London Paddington, by the way, if you didn't already know. And um, I, I did this first scenario, which is to drive from here to Reading. Didn't realise there was a train station along the way I was supposed to stop at. So I went sailing past the train station and of course failed the, uh, failed the scenario. Now for those of you who have not played this game, um, you have to do it all in real time. So as you see there on the bottom right of my screen is a, uh, a compass and a clock. Now that clock is in real time. And I can't, well, you may be able to skip and, 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 and whatnot, but I don't want to. Um, here we go. Now, what's going on here? They all look pretty static. Well, there's one person moving. There we go. Perfect. So, anyway, my train's over there. And we're going to go and, um, go and board her. And, um, yeah. Drive her to, uh, to Reading. Now, there is a, a train station that I need to stop at along the way. Uh, about, I don't know. 10 or so minutes into the train journey. There we go. So let's, let's walk the train, shall we? Let's... Now, when I did this first time, I didn't actually walk the train. So there we go. Well, let's... Oh, can I open this door? I don't know the no, I can't see. That's the only issue with this um, sort of train is that you can't walk down it like you could a conventional slam door train. Because there's the massive engine you see that right there kicking out a lot of um, exhaust. There it is. Oh, hang on. There's no engine in my train. No, there is really. I'm so let's, let's board this train in. Just walk down the length of it. You know, give all my my loving passengers. Um, oh, oh no! Let's close the window. Let's behave. It's gonna get cold in a minute. Oh come on, behave. There we go. Closed. Lovely. Right. So this is my train. Welcome aboard. Um, those of you who have not paid a ticket um, will be uh, chucked out the window. Um, luggage rack, standard first class seat. Tasty. Tasty. Um, we've got about 15 minutes to kill. I'm not lying. If, if you just started watching, I'm not going to be actually driving this train for 15 minutes. So if you want to go and pop the kettle on, I don't, I don't blame you. Um, but uh, in the meantime, I'll, I'll give you a tour of my train. Uh, there we go. Look, look, the device ports there, I think, maybe. I don't know. Um, I've, I've only ever travelled in one of these trains once, would you believe? Um, I don't live in a part of the region of this country where these trains operate anymore. Uh-huh. Um... <laughs> But, uh, there we go. Is this going to open? It is going to open. Oh, I didn't have to. I could just go straight through it. Um, there we go. The conjoin of the, uh, of the coat. You see, that's lovely. Fire extinguisher, if ever this train got a light. Um, oh, is there a food cart? Ah, oh, no, that's, that's the toilet. Okay, that's why you do beeps and boops. Um, <laughs> there is a food cart. It's just closed. Stingy bastards, British Railway. <laughs> Never ever on time, nor serving food to their patrons. Pretty empty train, really, isn't it? I'm just thinking, there's no fucker on it. What's the point of me going to Reading if there's no one on here? What are these seats? They're green. So that's a standard class seat. Oh, they're all green. Oh, I get... Uh? Oh, I see. They're facing the other way. <laughs> Don't worry, you're so glad to be peeps. <laughs> you'll, be on, you'll be on your way. Um soon. This is a long train, by the way. I, I, I don't want to walk all the way down it. Let's, um... Oh, you can run. If you hold down the trigger... Look at this. Look. Straight through. You know, there's the toilet there. Um, for those of you who don't know where it is, it's, it's just there, really, to be honest. Um, here we go. Through we go. Another first class set. Bang. Bang. Now, what's going on here? Ah, oh, is this the um, staff access only? So we've got to the front of the train. Not as long as I thought it was, actually. It's, it's lost a few carriages along the way. Um, no, it isn't really. I'm only joking. Um, what's that I hear you say? It's not funny, Andrew. I'll oh, shut up then. 
Um, why, why is this door not opening? What have I done? Why? Oh, hang on. Have I... Ah. Huh? Why, why aren't the doors opening? I don't... I don't get it. I, I got on the train. I should be able to at least get off the bloody thing. Um, how do I... How have I done this? I don't. I don't believe. It. I'm stuck on my own bloody train. <laughs> this is great. I should have the master key in my pocket, surely. And I've got to go all the way back through to the end. This is probably why no one's on it, because no one can find me. I can jump through the window. Look, uh, he's waiting to get on. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I'll be with you shortly. I promise. Good grief. Um, smack. I can't get off. Oh no! Surely not. Surely not. Ah! 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 There we go. Of course, you've got to actually click on the hinge to open the door. <laughs> of course, yeah, this makes absolute sense. Right. Let's run down the train. So it's a lovely green colour. Um, you, you can get on in a minute, sir. For a minute, I thought you had two heads, like Professor Quirrell from Harry Potter. Um, right. Okay, let's go. So we've got 13, just under minutes before we're supposed to depart. Or Reading. There we go. Look at this purring beauty. Look at it. There it is. Yes, yes. GWR for Great Western Railway. Open the door. Jump in. Focusing of sure if I um, get too overzealous with the engine. Close. Sit. We're here. Right. Headlamps today. Right. Headlamps today. There we are. Uh, reverser to forward. Reverser. Forward. Come on. Is it not? Ah. Uh, no. There we go. Reverse is now in forward. D-pad. Open the doors. Look. There we go. Everyone all, all aboard. Um, and that's it, basically. <laughs> that's the game until 12 minutes time when I, when I leave. Um, so if you're watching this now, then fast forward, really. I can't really offer you any more advice. Um, I'm going to have a few snacks. Mmm, tasty. Right. So, now the doors are open, and the passengers are loading. I can now come out of my seat. I like how it's just standing, as if I've forgotten what I was doing. Um, kind of, no! Don't open the door, no! Don't want to do things like that! God, if it could be a train coming down there, you just never know, do you? Um, right, let's, uh, let's open the right door. Uh, or the left door, if you, depending on your viewpoint. Um, now, they all got on. Let's see how many people we've got on our train, shall we? So, okay then, so... Is anybody in? Who leaves the door open? I mean, how bloody... Eh. Tut, tut, tut. There's no one on my train, look. There's no bastard on here. Where was that man gone that was stood... He still stood there, look. I mean, what is he really doing? I mean... Unless he's seeing off a loved one, I don't really know what he's doing. He's not even standing. He's standing in the gap between carriages. No, no, don't, don't, don't do, don't do things like that, people. <laughs> Ignore what I've just did. Um, there's no one on here. I'm, I'm a bit offended, really. Uh, it's almost like they don't trust my, uh, my train judgment. There's people here waiting for a train that won't arrive. Okay. I do like how they've done the graphics, so I mean, you can tell. Uh, for those of you who know what um, Paddington looks like, this is Paddington. It looks really, really good. And I, I, I was wondering, to be honest, because I've seen this game played on the PC uh, or train games, train sims like it, and they've been very... Um, disruption on the line. Love it. Um, they've been very... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um... No, no, realistic. Oh, I've got an achievement! Travel one mile on foot! Now, those of you who are watching this may not see that pop up because I'm using the game DVR function on the Xbox. So I just got a 50G achievement for walking one mile. Love it. Um, no, so the um, the PC games looked very... Um, big. That's, that's, that's the only word I can think of. Uh, you, you know what I mean? So it was... 
the games looked like they, they wouldn't work on PC because there was too much game to, to, to function. Um, like the world is so massive and, and all the trains working. Um, and it's not just your train they've got to put into the game. There's other trains to make it look realistic and, and whatnot. It's sort of the reason why flight simulators has not ever been put on console. But getting there, it's only six gigabytes, this game. Um, the the add-ons, of course, make it bigger. But I was really amazed at how the game just flows on a console. Um, I'm not endorsed by Dovetail Games, by the way. I'm not trying to make you buy it. I'm just saying that it is a, a, a nice a, a nice game. It's really good. Um, and not strenuous on your Xbox. So I know people don't always have external hard drives and whatnot. So if you've only got six gigabytes available, you can download it. It's great. Anyway, enough nattering as I'll fail this task by not leaving the train station. That'd be a bit embarrassing, wouldn't it? So we've got uh, eight minutes to go now until we depart London Paddington or Reading Central. Um, any of you watching, um, drop a comment, questions, please do ask. Um, if you're watching on YouTube after the stream, don't comment on the video asking questions because I'm not there. Um, but I might drop in on, on any questions you've got on YouTube and answer them in in time. It's a very good question. So I've just had a question um, in real life, not on any of the services, Twitch or anything like that, for my wife, new wife, I might just, you know, add, um, asking me who bought this game for me. And it was her. So there we go. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm getting, I'm getting eyeballed, as only married men do. Mm. She's bought snacks, though, so it's, um, it's a women's situation, really. Um, apologies if you're sat here waiting, um, wondering what I'm doing. I'm trying to think of what I can do to fill the time. So we've got seven minutes to go. Let's... Any more people on the station? No. Not really. Did, did the guy board the train? Let's have a look. Let's run down. Um... No, he didn't. But um, let's have a look at some of the textures of the game. I know, I know that sounds really dumb. So let's, just, let's investigate the game. But um, I mean, the signage is pretty good. Uh, that looks pretty realistic. Um, I mean, these signs are pretty generic. But let's have a look at disruption on the line. Following a thorough review, we are pleased. We are pleased. Oh no! Oh dear! Um, pleased to announce that the planned block on the line will no longer go ahead. Planned to block. I've never seen it referred to as a planned block. It just makes me think they're going to put a, you know, a breeze block on the line and say, nope, sorry, train cancelled. The upgrade work is still required to improve reliability. Ooh, is there an announcer? Can the driver of the train please return to the train? No, I'm joking. Um, is that what she said? Five minutes. Oh. Oh, you're telling me. Okay. Uh, rail upgrade works. Um, rail replacement bus services. I mean, that's a, that, that's a good one. I mean, that's like, um, I mean, that, that's like a, a admitting defeat on the product you've created, isn't it? I mean, saying the bus replacement services. That's like, it's like FIFA having a game and then, then saying the referee's got the decision wrong. You know, it's, it's sort of like a joke on the game almost. Um, there's a bin there. Um, that even looks like the bins they use on the British Railways. You know, the clear bags so you can see if there's any bombs in them. Um, oyster card, oyster card placements. Um, the machines aren't on, which again just you know, depicts real life because they never bloody work. Um, right, really, isn't it? It's not on my train. My man's there. Do you, do you know what? I know, I know, I know who he is now. He's a train spotter. So he's just there with his notepad and his book. His notepad and his book. His notepad and his pen, jotting down the train number, waiting for it to depart. He won't. He won't jump on. Platform three. If anyone was there, if any of you Anorax are, are train spotters, but for the game. Then, yeah, platform three. Let me see if I can find a number of my train. Uh, there we go. <laughs> zero, 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 zero. Perfect. Now, let's see, if it, let's see what it is. Oh. Because there's normally a number on the front of the train. Not that I'm a train spotter myself. I don't know these things. I'm just guessing. Um, oh, well. Uh, four minutes to go until we were supposed to depart. Um, yeah. This is the game. <laughs> Let's see how far I can go before. Oh, look, look, there's a barrier up here. I can't go any further than the barrier, it seems. Fair enough. Standard. Standard. 
Um, there's my train. I mean, look at the game. For a console-based simulator, I mean, normally you, don't, you need a lot of CPU to generate the sky and the station and the train and the people moving and, the, of course, me moving. But it just seems very fluid, yeah. Of course, there's, a, there, there's the train I arrived on. If you, I, I started streaming as I arrived in the station, but I caught that from Ealing Broadway. And we've now got three minutes. I think now it's pretty much safe to say I should get in the bloody thing. Otherwise, imagine if I failed by not leaving the train station on time. I've now got to memorize these controls. So, right trigger is speed up. Right bumper's speed down. Left trigger is the brake. Okay. I, I mean, can't really go wrong with that. But, I mean, for any of you who have seen me game before, and um, if you're on YouTube, type in Gamevine UK. It's a channel I used to I, I used to co-run. And if there's a game that's got two controls, like, for instance, an A and a B, I'll forget which one's which. If I'm playing Halo that's got an A and a B and a Y and an X and a trigger and a right bumper, I'm usually absolutely fine. It's, it's really... Odd. You'd think it'd be the other way around, but hey ho. Anyway, two minutes. So to leave the train station, what I need to do is so the brakes on full service at the moment. So obviously that means the brakes are on essentially. The brakes have a have a five, four. You can hear them hissing. Three, two, and one. An initial and running. So that the means there's no brakes so in fact in fact actually if I keep it on running the engines currently in idle so I'm not gonna go anywhere in fact now it's a bit dangerous isn't it? <laughs> let's turn the brakes off <laughs> let's put them on initial um, just be on the safe side because um, what I'll have to do is I'll have to signal so the guard in a minute will I'll, I'll close the doors what is that marker doing it's jumping around um, in a minute the guard will I'll, I'll close the doors the guard will do his beep 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 to tell him, tell me, sorry, that the doors have all locked properly, and I have to signify um, by pressing one of these buttons. Ah, there it is. The, no, that's the, call, the driver buzzer. So I'll press that twice to buzz the guard, and then off we'll go. Uh, one minute. So I think what we'll do now is we'll close the doors. Um, train brakes are running. That's good. Uh, door lock left. There we go. So all the doors have been locked. Which means that all I've got to do now is signify the driver, turn the brakes off. So, 30 seconds. So I'm going to put the brake. Come on. Why are you not responding? What have I done wrong? Uh, reverse or forward. There we go. So we're starting. Okay. So, reverse or forward. Re forward. Lovely. We're doing this. Brakes running. Doing this. All I've got to do now is raise up that. Make sure I don't go faster than I'm supposed to. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Buzzer, don't forget. So there we go. Train doors have been done. I've done it. Doors are locked. There we go. Come on. There we go. Buzzer. And then... Depart. And we're off. We are... So... We don't want to be out here like uh, an F1 car. Honk, honk. And away we go. So, easy as that. I said the trigger is throttle up. The bumper is throttle down. And then we've got the brakes here in case we really do bugger things up. So, there we go. So, I'm going to max throttle out of there, by the way. There we go. Look at that. The throttle's gaining it out of the train station. That's fine. Um, now, see, stop at location, Reading, at 20.01. Now, see, I read that and thought, okay, well, the only stop I've got to make is Reading. But that, that, that completely flummoxed me. Because when I came up to a station, I was doing, I think, 50 mile an hour, and I'm like, oh, yeah, of course, we've got to slow down, it's a big station. I had to stop at the fucker. I went sailing past it, like, all right, div. Um, talking about divs, I need to trigger the idle. I'm nearly reaching my speed limit, which is 40 at the moment, it seems. Um, and yeah, really good fun.
really like this game. Um, it's a bit long-winded, but I kind of like that because, you know, I'm the sort of person, um, and if you know me in person, you'll know what I mean and, and whatnot, but I'm the sort of person that would happily prefer a FIFA football game where I'm... I mean, I play FIFA career mode because I want to be the manager, but I would rather not play the players. You know, in FIFA, you control all the players. I'd rather stand at the touchline first person and have like a combination of 10 commands to give my players like manager simulator yes i know i know those of you who are watching are going to say oh but there's manager there's, there's you know you can you know buy it for the mac and pc i know you can do that but i mean uh, with the fifa graphics the fifa amaze balls if you know what i mean but with the a manager simulator um attachment but uh, they don't do that unfortunately so i can't but um there you go. Anyway, so now we can speed up to 50 mile an hour. So we will throttle up to max. You can hear the engine going. At the bottom left of my speedometer, my AMP, my amp, is going up. So I'm generating more power, more thrust. Um, and soon I'll be in a 100 mile an hour zone. Um, top tip, if you're watching this game and maybe you've bought it yourself or thinking of buying it yourself, to go 125 mile an hour in this train, you get a 75g achievement um, for going 125 miles an hour in a 125. So, uh, there you go, now you know, now you know. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much it. Good fun, I know, good fun. And okay, we're going at 43 mile an hour, there's a... 0.4% decline, so I'm actually gaining speed, even though I'm not speeding up. But then again, that could change, and I'll and I'll going uphill, and then I'll need to put more power in. So things like that. And it's, it's it's like playing playing flight simulator. You got to deal with the wind and 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 all that sort of thing. And that's that's my wind. Uh, it sounded about that sounded better in my head, but you know you all know what I mean. Anyway, speed up time. 100 mile an hour. There we go. Max throw. Let's do this. Yes, it says stop at Reading. But I had to stop before I got to Reading. So, it catches you out. Well, my wife just said, oh, stop at Reading. Like, yes, that's what I thought as well. But now I've got to stop somewhere else as well. I think stop at Reading is like my termination. You know, my terminus. Yeah, you know, when you go to a train station. This train terminates here. That's what I think I've got to deal with. But there you go. Honk, honk. And it does, okay, so if, you, if, if you're watching this and thinking, oh, I can see that the game's stuttering a bit, it's bound to, it's a console, it's not a Master Race PC thing. Um, and it's got to have a little bit of, you know, pullback almost to allow, because if it didn't stutter, the game would surely crash. Um, so it's, it's like when you're playing Call of Duty, for instance, uh, all, all 10 or 12 levels don't load up at once. You only have that particular level that you're in load up. And dead bodies, for instance, will despawn after you've shot them because the game will want to um, make sure it doesn't cope. It, ca it can't cope. But yeah, this is, uh, it's done a good job. If, if any of you are watching from Dovetail Games, thumbs up for nearing 100 mile an hour, so I'm, I'm max speed at the moment. I've got to make sure that when I get to around 95, I put it into idle. Um, I don't know what happens if you speed. I don't, know, I don't know if you sit in a speed higher than you are supposed to, you fail the scenario. I know for a fact if you go slower than you're supposed to, you're um, arrive late. And I don't know if you get given a gold medal, if there's like a medal system. Um, if you, here we go, so we've got to 90 mile an hour, so it'll be cautious now. But I don't know if you, uh, five minutes late, you get a silver medal, not a gold medal, or something like that. So uh, we're going up to 93 mile an hour. I'm gonna, there we go. So I'm going to whack it into idle now. You can hear the engine now. The amps are dropping. The engine's cooling off. And now I'm at 125 mile an hour. So now I can 
let the lead out essentially, just go. But I've got to be cautious because in a minute, you spend about, I think about 10 minutes at 125 mile an hour and then you've got to start slowing down because you're entering the outskirts of Reading. I'm just trying to think what station on this service I'd need to stop at. Obviously I've left Paddington, I'm not stopping at any London stations. So, um, I mean, Didcot was always a, a big one on that line. Maybe Oxford? Yeah, maybe Oxford. Um, I don't think these these state these trains seem to stop at Oxford, uh, Didcot, I don't think. And the only time I remember going through Didcot, the uh, trains just, you know, these trains in particular just whizzed past. It was a thing. I don't yet know the ins and outs of this game. I've done the um, training modules, of which there's a 100G achievement at the end, which I've done them all. And that's just with the Great Western Railway. So there's um, three trains I've learned to drive at the moment. This has been one of them, the HST um, 125. Um, there's the Class 66 uh, Shed train, um, which is basically the diesel locomotive used for transporting uh, goods and then there's the one that I got from Ealing Broadway to here which is your electric um, DM no not DMU it'd be the EMU wouldn't it? I, don't, I don't know I'm not as au fait with the train name official train names as um, maybe some of you are See now we're reaching 119, 120 mile an hour. When I get to about one, two, three, I'll put her into idle. And then just basically feather. I don't know if that's how I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. If you've played this game before and it's not, please drop a comment. I'll happily um, learn. But I um, I feather the throttle essentially. I go up to max, get to about one, two, three, back to idle, drop to 120 and up again to the main throttle. Just to so here we go, so we're at one, two, three now, so I'm gonna drop us down to idle. Well, actually, just throttle one. Um, just try and stay between 120 and 125, basically. Because um, there's there's that fine line be between being late into Reading uh, and breaking the law. No, I'm sorry, the law. It's just train etiquette. If there's men working on the line, I don't want to, you know, scare them. It's weird because when when you hear a train and you're when you're at a train station or whatnot and one goes by, the 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 the, the horn goes. Hey, hey. This one just. Hey. I mean, it's not a, not a, not a biggie, but it could be. Yeah, the Doppler effect. Yeah, the, the sound hey, hey, as it goes past you. So yeah, I see that we're, I'm now maxing it out. So one, two, three, what, one, two, one, sorry, one, two, three mile an hour. Then we're gonna drop down a bit. There we go, drop down to. Let's keep it at throttle two. But there's the throttle there, so you'll see in a minute. There you go. See, I change it up and whatnot. It does that. Ah, oh, this is it's just a nice game, you know. A lot of games. Um, there's always got to be something going on. Action, you know. Even Forza, you know, you 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 think of a simulator that's not trains or planes or something, and you think cars. So Forza, Project Cars, Forza. There's always something going on. You've got to change direction or gears or other AI to mess you up. Whereas this game is just you just having a, having a laugh, really. Um, sort of, sort of game you can put a, a podcast on or Spotify if you're that way inclined just listen to tunes whilst driving these trains because it's not really a, a narrative or a dialogue you've got to follow to and even when there is there's, a, there's text on the screen 
and uh, there's also other expansion packs. So um, th this one I've bought um, today comes with the game and three expansion packs. There's about, looking at the Dovetail website and Xbox Live, there's a good majority of um, expansion packs. So, um, and then I was I was actually saying earlier that they could probably keep this going as, as it is for a long time because the game itself, the, 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 the mothership game, just train sim world on its own, is 6.06 um, .06 gigabytes, which is nothing in comparison to your, your AAA titles that are like 60 to 80 gigabytes. I think Halo the Master Chief Collection is nearly 100 or so. And you can just uninstall and install updates, uh, yeah, expansions, as and when. So, the more the merrier, really. I mean, I can't wait to get stuck into other expansions that I've already got. So, I've got... Sorry? <laughs> My wife, Jo, just said we could have the Underground, which we could. I mean, the London Underground. I mean, that would be interesting because you, you wouldn't necessarily have a sky to have to generate. I know there's a lot of, un of overground lines, but you wouldn't have to necessarily think of that. I suppose the only thing that would really trip you up would be the amount of people you'd have to generate. It's, just, it's world known that the, un that the underground is so busy. And you couldn't just have what we've just had behind us. So in real life, at half past seven on a you know, midweek night or a weekend night even, Paddington Station would be packed. So the only, the, the only unrealistic part of this game is the people aren't there en masse. Um, but yeah. Oh, 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 we're getting fast now. Look, I need to put the brake on. Let's put the brake on. Brake off. And then um, speed up. There we go. We're not actually speeding up, so let's just do that. There you go. So as you can see on the um oh dear me, my apologies. Um, up there. I'm using the cursor on the screen. That's your next objective, so green light, and there's your your yardage until you get there. Um That'll give you a, your, your next speed change if there is going to be one coming up. Nearly hitting a 125 again. Let's, let's throttle back to the two. Let's not be overzealous. I'm waiting now. I'm. I'm expecting that that sudden change of speed. Now, with the change of speed, didn't really catch me out, but the, the stopping at the train station did. And um, of course, when you're doing 50 mile an hour and you're going to a train station, there's not a lot of time before you've got to crank those brakes on. But 15 miles to go up to Reading is 20:01. I suppose I, I was a bit naive because. When I was playing this earlier, I was looking at the time on the game on my speedometer, 1944 at the moment. And I was thinking, it can't be that long, 14 miles at 122 miles an hour. I'm not great at maths, but we're going to get there early. Of course, if we're stopping at train stations, then no. But there you go. A bit of speeding up to do there, get us like up to one, two, three mile an hour, roll back. I'm expecting any minute now the um, the change the tr change of speed is the first thing.
a, it's a shame it's dark. That's the only thing. Because um, the lights are on, as you can see there. I've got one light on. My little dash. Alright, so we're still going at 123 mile an hour. There's no change of speed coming up just yet. I've got another set of lights just under a mile away. I think the first change of speed is down 90 mile an hour, which I can do pretty pretty easily when I whack the brakes on. The brakes, believe it or not, they're very, very effective. 0 0.7 miles away, so again, not braking yet. Look, look, look. Just trying to trying to go up to one two five mile an hour. Let's pin it down to one two three. Because I know in a minute we are definitely going to have to slow down. So it's probably best to start that mentality now. Oh, what's going on now? Nope. Still got 0 0.7 miles my next objective and it's a green light so there's no need to worry about any speed differential just yet let's have a look what's going to come up next it must be soon oh no One point four miles. Now this this is interesting, so one point four miles. I think after this next objective I'll need to slow down. Slow down will be my next objective. Or one of them, anyway. No. Well, that did catch me up, didn't it? Oh, excuse me. Still no slowing down. Wouldn't it be funny if the scenarios changed, like the laws of the railway? I mean, if the laws of the railway changed, that wouldn't even work, would it? But you know what I mean? Like the the each time you did the scenario, the your route changed or something. Again, that wouldn't really work because it's like roads where you can just pop down the A34 one day and then the B319 the next. The railways are always pretty static. <laughs> oh look, train station. I don't know which one it is, but it's um, it's there, isn't it? Here we go. Still no change of speed. Well, this is crazy. Ah, 2.4 miles down to 95, right, brakes one, let's slow the engine down to idle, brakes three, let's really kill our speed, there we are, brakes five, there we go, I think now we can you know, put the brakes onto running, and then speed back up. We've lost our speed now. Down to 91. Splendid. Alright. 
And of course, we're supposed to be doing 95 when we go past that line, so we're already under our allocated speed. It's good. Amber light coming up, so that's a warning. One warning. Uh, 95 is what we're doing already, so that's throttle one. So 95 mile an hour is good, though. That's not a worry. You can always rack the brakes on heavily if we need to, and kill the engine as well. 94 mile an hour. So next up is 60. So let's idle the throttle, rack the brakes onto three. And then five. Here we go. Okay, we made it. Pick some speed up again so we don't really go too slow and then lose the. Uh, Got it sussed, right? So all we've got to do now is just be wary that we're coming into a train station. <laughs> I should have really known this, shouldn't I? Losing our speed like that. What's happening? Are we, you know. Oh, our lights have gone off. Oh, okay, we're going into a tunnel. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> ah, 50 mile an hour is the next one. Shit, brakes full. Full service of brakes. Full service of brakes. And then brakes onto running. There we go. Huh? So next up is a red light. So we're going to cut the engine to idle. So there's no more power going into us now. We just need to now make sure that brakes are three. So here we go. So this is where I failed. So brakes three, four, five. Full service of brakes now. Full service of brakes. Oh, we're going to do this, guys. We're a bit short, actually. We did it. Objective completed. So, hang on. Um, right. WH Smith. God, there is as well. <laughs> right, right doors open. Loading passengers. This is it. WH Smith. I wonder how much they paid to get in the game. Really? Oh, we're reading. What? We're too early. Well, no, they have to come in. Well, no, we're not too early. We'll just sit there for seven minutes. Oh, I don't know. That's incredible. They got there too early. That's brilliant. Well, we're loading passengers. Um, I kind of want to get out and investigate now. It does look like Reading. Uh, oh, that's great. That's great, that really... It's silly how that game can really make you feel sort of like, yay, I did it. The loaded passengers. Wait until 2002. There we go. Right, well, I'm going to call it there for the stream. I'm sure those of you watching who aren't as enthusiastic about trains will be thinking, thank good grief. Um, but I had good fun. I will carry on doing what I'm doing. And um, if you enjoyed what you watched, then let me know, because I, otherwise I won't know, and I won't um, think to do sh and streaming on this game anymore. If you enjoyed it, let me know. I'll do some more. If there's any other game you can think that I should be streaming at this right moment in time, let me know. And if I've got it in my arsenal, I'll play it. If I haven't, then I'll give it a look and see if it's worth purchasing to stream. You've all been great, and I will be back online very, very soon. Bye for now.